To calibrate the Millar catheter using a manometer, all I need is a standard uh, manometer with some tubing and a hemostatic valve with one end has got a valve which you can open and close. Um, it's got a port for a syringe and then another connector on the other end which is open. Um, the catheter is soaking in 37 degrees saline for at least 30 minutes before use and before calibration. Uh, the catheter is connected to an AEC 10D um, interface cable to a bridge amp which is connected to a power lab which is running lab chart software. The first thing I'm going to do is fill up the um, valve with some saline for the um, catheter. So I do this by removing the cap making sure that the valve is all the way open. I'm then going to connect a syringe with uh, 37 degrees saline in there. I'm going to close off the one end of um, the valve and then slowly introduce saline into the valve. So you can see that there is fluid inside the valve. Um, and then I can close off the valve. It's closed off. And now I can connect the manometer to the other end. There we go. Um, now I can re remove the syringe just for the time being and open up the valve again. I'll open up all the way. And now I take the catheter, insert this inside the valve, and then I will close the valve carefully. Not too tight. There we go. And now because it is open to air on this port, um, I can go to my lab chart software, I can go to bridge amp and my range is on 10 millivolts and now I'm going to zero the catheter as it is open to air. It takes a couple of seconds to zero it. Now it's zeroed, I can click OK and now I can start recording. So I know that this is my zero value, zero millimeters of mercury. So I'm just gonna drop a comment for the zero point. And next I can now connect the saline again. And now I can slowly increase the pressure. You can see the dial is going up. I can increase that to 100. I'm gonna enter 100 into my comments and when it's sitting at 100 there we go I will drop the comment and I can let go and click stop so now all I need to do is make a selection between those two comments for those known values and go to units conversion first part we know is zero millimeters of mercury and the end part is where it was 100 millimeters of mercury select my units as millimeters of mercury click OK and now my data is calibrated for millimeters of mercury